I'm here with uh, Nick Beard Death Camp, which is the, the most uh, infamous uh, heavy metal band in the internet. <laughs> so uh, my my very first uh, question to you is, why the name Nick Beard Death Camp? So uh, the project started as a joke. Um, it was actually just like a thing that I like shit posted into Facebook. Um, it was actually a year ago. Yesterday, I made a Facebook post. Some dickweed was got my face on the internet about something. It, it, it started with him explaining like Nazi politics to me, and I was like, "Dude, why don't you go fuck yourself?" And he said something fairly homophobic to me. And I, I mean, he runs like a Nazi black metal label out of his mom's basement, and was just like a huge neckbeard. Um, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck it. Let's do let neckbeard death camp." You know? Nice. That's awesome. And my sec my second question is for for all of you, why would such a band take a take a jab on the right? Because they deserve it. Their politics are fucking wrong. You know, like it's it's like you can spend as much time debating politics as you want. There are there are absolute truths to the universe, and right wing ideology is fundamentally devoid of empathy, and that's bullshit. Um. You, you, sir? They deserve it. Um, I think it's important, especially in this day and age, um, to remember that human lives are more valuable than money. And um, that, among other things, right wingers just don't seem to understand. Okay. What about you, man? It's 2019. This shouldn't even be a fucking discussion. <laughs> like, at this point, like, it's too late. This was uh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, for uh, question number three, I, you guys are known as the, as the internet as a joke, as a satire, and what did do, what does you what do you, each of you guys see at, see as yourself? So it's really important. This this was my idea actually. Um, a lot of people are very, very excited to say that we're not serious enough or that what we're doing isn't uh, appropriate for the politics that we're covering. But we took the humorous approach because of how satire laws work in the U.S. Um, and, like, through satire laws, you can be a total fucking dick to somebody, like, right to their face. And they can come and fight you if they want, but they can't sue you. They can't, you know, they can't, uh, like, try to take your money. You know, they just have to take it. Like, you know, political cartoon like has been you know it's been around forever um so we, I mean we can put Richard Spencer's fucking face getting a wedgie on the front of our new album <coughs> and he's just gotta take it you know yeah alright and num and my fourth question is why use it why use internet memes in your in your music and why use memes as a theme of your band I think memes are like a very sort of contemporary conversation about politics. Um, I think memes are how Donald Trump was certainly elected. Um, they, they boil a lot of theory down to sort of an easily metabolizable substance, you know? It's easy to just like post a meme and boom, somebody. Um, I mean, this guy's a lot better at memes than me. Yeah, yeah. Do you have feelings on that? I think memes are just a. Uh, a really good way to radicalize people, um, you know, and that's, I think, another advantage of taking the humorous approach. It tends to be easier to uh, have a conversation with people that way. Okay. What about you, man? The memes theme on the band? I think with a lot of younger people, and in this political atmosphere, memes with big messages much more accurately. And introduce people to um, introduce people to leftist politics much smoother versus college courses. All right. Okay. And so, from uh, from my next uh, question, which is uh, number five, in your in the band's words, what is your uh, music really about? It's about putting the toothpaste back in the tube for this Nazi bullshit. It's, uh, it's about reappropriating their symbolism, their sort of sly tactics for passing off bullshit. Because, um, I mean, we do the things exactly the way that they do them. You know, we, we do the 
ski masks, the nail gauntlets, the bullet belts, the, the blast beads, and they still don't like it, and it means that they're fucking lying when they, they say separate the art from the artist. You know, because if, if you were really capable of separating the art from the artist, you would like us. But, you know, they're all fucking pissed off about it, and it's because they are lying. It's a lie. And my question, in my question number six, how do you think that the band will affect the will affect the right? In in your own words, of course. <coughs> I mean, they seem totally bent out of shape about it. They hate it. Good, you know. I mean, they spend all of their time trying to make this harder for us. And if they didn't care, it wouldn't happen. But they do care. So they, you know, they 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 do the dumb shit. Um, you know, I, I like I don't I don't think that our business is in recruiting anybody out of the all right. You know, I don't think anybody is gonna take a look at what we do and go, uh, oh, my mind has changed. You know, I, I think I think we have radicalized a lot of people who left black metal. You know, and sort of left extreme music, um, and maybe we will eventually overwhelm them. Um, and start pulling kids, but I think right now it's just about hurting their fucking feelings. All right, for my uh, se- for my seventh question, and what does for my seventh question, and I think I'm gonna elaborate <coughs> on this. What what is the band's message to your fans? That the people that are that just look that just look at you and like this music is awesome. I I agree 100 percent with what you are. And what is your message to them? You are not alone. I'm thinking that the alt right are a bunch of shit bags. And this is something I've been saying quite a bit um, in interviews over the past year or so. I'm going to continue to say it. I really want to inspire other leftists, um, other artistically inclined leftists, to um, make their own political art. You know, um, we can't let fascists have any sort of say space, black men included. You know, um, do whatever you can, by any means necessary, to keep them out of the spaces that they're in. You? I just want to say to our fans, thank you so fucking much for keeping us alive, keeping us in your mouth, you know, keep continuing to buy our shit, keeping us on the road. Thank you. What about you? I'm incredibly grateful for the fans who made this all possible, who have not even basically uh, challenged anything socially. Um, in their personal circles, in their lives, on my anything. Because I think there's going to be a difference in some of their arguments about that. It's nice when we're going to be uh, to group effort. Wonderful. And I know you're going to love this question, and it's going to and it's going to be similar to to the last one I just asked. What is what is the band's message to the all right, the the haters, the uh, the one that think the ones that think that your band is just full of shit. What's, what's your message on this fucking people? Die fucking mad about it, you posers! You're just an early piss-soaked grave for all of you. Go fuck yourselves. What about you, my man? I like to think of it kind of like uh, we're siblings in the backseat of the car and we're sticking finger in their face and we're still not touching them but we are and I love to see them get more and more pissed off every single fucking day also fuck Varg in light of recent events fuck Varg it's about time this channel got taken down what about you? get back <laughs> plain and simple real tough plain and simple <coughs> alright from from my 8th question what is the future of Neckbeard Death Camp? We're going to put out some more albums, do splits with anybody who wants to do splits with us. We're going to keep playing shows. We're going to donate as much fucking money as we can. 
And then we're just going to continue to fucking laugh. Okay. Let's laugh all the way. Fuck them. Wonderful. Again, die fucking mad about it. <laughs> I hope you live a long, long life mad every single day about what we do. And in your deathbed, surrounded by your friends and family, as the DMT leaks out of your mind, the specter of Neckbeard Death Camp appears at the corner of the room that contains your deathbed. And we laugh you directly. <coughs> And for my last for my last question, is there anything that you would like to add in this interview before we end this? And I'll just uh, take in each and every uh, ask and each and every one of you. I would like to start with you. Thank you to our fans. Being a prosthetic it would not be possible without either of them. To all of the alt right shit bags that message me. At 3 a.m. Kill yourself. I'd like to thank Exalted Woe for hosting us. Thank you, Zach. I love you, baby. Okay. Thank you, Neckbeard Death Camp, for doing this, and thank you for playing this show, a badass show, and thank you so much.